Uh, so the project is called uh, the other letter a hybrid of Sinhala and Tamil scripts for Sri Lanka. It's a work in progress. Actually, this project was my final year, uh, final project at uh, presented at Northumbria University for BA in graphic design. So, just first, just a question: Why a hybrid script of Tamil and Sinhala? Just why not? <laughs> no, uh, there's a there's a thinking behind it. There's a reason behind it. There's for me there's some really personally uh, personal issues that I'm really sensitive about this. Uh, so just to give you a sort of idea about what I'm going to talk about, I'm going to briefly do this, like briefly tell you what, uh, give you a background on sh what Sri Lanka is and language and the conflict prop con conflict. What's the project brief? research, work, and what's going to happen next. So uh, Sri Lanka, a small background, uh, maybe most of you should be actually familiar with the situation in the Sri Lanka with Tamil Nadu sort of heating up against us. Uh, so we have 20 million people and uh, we have been in a third, like Sri Lankan government has been in a 30 year long war with LTTE or Tamil Tigers, a Tamil separatist group uh, which used to occupy the uh, north and eastern parts of the country. Uh, I said Tamil separatist group, uh, but it is the organization is uh, named as a terrorist organization, including Sri Lanka, a uh, lot of other countries. Uh, and we have a Geneva human rights resolution coming up like uh, this Saturday, I guess, because we have apparently we have uh, human rights issues. So. Just to give you an idea, uh, this area uh, divided from the line, uh, actually the Tamil uh, uh, majority, uh, majority in the Sri Lanka is Sinhalese community, which speaks language Sinhalese, and uh, the Tamil community is concentrated, which speaks Tamil, uh, concentrated in uh, northern and eastern parts of the country. But there are clusters of Tamil people living uh, around different places in the country as well. So. Basically, to give you an idea, majority Sinhalese people speak Sinhalese, write in Sinhalese, Sinhalese has a separate script, and uh, Tamil is spoken by the native Tamils and also uh, the Muslim community. So, just to give you an idea about what happened in Sri Lanka, the ethnic conflict runs back to, goes back to like really, really long time, but if, if I take you to the beginning of the conflict as it is now, uh, it was because of the ethnic identifier. Normally ethnic identifier is something that we use to identify uh, ethnicity. Basically in, in India it's not the language, it's basically the religion or the caste. You are defined by the caste or the religion or the area. It could be the c color of your, it could be color of your skin. Uh, in Sri Lanka it was the language, but we we couldn't, uh, after the uh, freedom, we got the freedom from the British British ruling, we couldn't manage these uh, different uh, opinions and different uh, needs of the different ethnicities and uh, this language, like lang uh, this language ethnic identifier sort of turned into a territory based identifier. That's how the whole conflict started. So just to give you an uh, idea about this, these three incidents I've listed out to uh, uh, reason out my project. Why, why do, do we need uh, this sort of a project? The first one is called the single only bill. It's actually, this is something I made to just to show you what was it like in 1956. Uh, Sri Lankan government, we, uh, go, not the government, political parties to get this uh, uh, votes of the Sinhalese majority they promised the community to make Sinhalese the only official language of Sri Lanka. Uh, discarding, because earlier, before that, nine, before 1956, uh, the, the language of administration and official language of, was English because of the, the British ruling. But in 1956, with, uh, with Bandaranaika coming into the power, he made the Sinhalese, Sinhalese the only official language of Sri Lanka, which meant uh, all the government officials had to work in uh, Sinhalese, everybody, in uh, everything. Basically, you are, imagine, imagine uh, your birth certificate uh, handed to you in French language, something like that. 
and the second uh, second uh, situation this is this this is really interesting thing for me it's called the shri conflict basically what happened was with the official languages uh, bill uh, sri lanka the number plates of the sri lankan uh, vehicles they added this character the shri character it's a shri a sinhalese character to the number plates so basically uh, all around the country uh, these number plates were uh, circulated so what happened was people got pissed off at this uh, people people in uh, especially in northern and eastern areas uh, they started they started uh, vandalizing they started uh, destroying cars that, that went into these areas you can see a single letter making this difference so this is really interesting uh, this was interesting as well as i mean it it was shocking uh, thing to uh, know so it it happens happened both ways actually all the singhali all the uh, name boards and everything in, uh, on, in on in this areas northern and eastern areas of the country were you know put on targets it, it was changed into different characters people were killed around 300 people were killed in 1956 and the third uh, third one is uh, the 1983 riots which made most of like around 200,000 tamils to flee the country to canada and they were the people who actually uh, uh, funded ltte during the last uh, last few decades and interestingly there are stories about if if you uh, now you can see what what this what it course says so basically tamil doesn't have a sound ba what did mobs were doing was in 1983 it was just easy for them to spot the tamils they would just stop a vehicle ask them to pronounce a word that has the sound ba if you can't say baldia <laughs> so <laughs> that's basically what happens so has this situation has it been changed because 2009 the war was ended so this is basically uh, taken from this uh, research findings uh, still 82% of the singhalis believed that official language of sri lanka is only sinhalese and government of sri lanka has done nothing to address the root causes of the conflict things 26.5 of the tamils so what's happening in the post war uh, situation is basically government is uh, government has to build camps in order to keep the keep these areas peacefully that's what they're saying and and also most of the tamils were uh, uh, sinhalese were they had to leave these areas northern and eastern parts of the country because ltte was ruling these areas now they have been re relocated in this tamil concentrated area concentrated areas uh, with a huge military presence so basically their structure is there's a tamil village there's a singhalese village there's a town and uh, there's a military camp so this is the basic structure they are building in the north and you can see this is the, this is the commission which uh, uh, government Uh, appointed to address the issues uh, in the country so they are basically saying people ha are made to transact and interact via, uh, in singhalese uh, against being their mother tongue language so basically for the first uh, in connection with the first uh, slide it's not about why and why not it's about it's a problem about appearance of the language and the solution should be a typography based intervention so my brief was to find a way to dissolve the ethnic tension caused by the appearance of language in conflict combine the letters so i figured i can do something like this because obviously you can see there are similar elements between these two letters alone this is singhala a and this is tamil a vanna uh, having the basic same roots uh, having coming from the same language family this Uh, let us share a lot of common elements so i figured combine the letters from tamil and singhala that correspond to the same uh, sound and build a common script guidelines were simple simplify and evolve the script not change it try to simplify it when it's possible and evolve it not to change the whole thing preserve the script traditions be as faithful as to the original script but have to make it po possible to people to read and understand uh of course me being a graphic designer i have to make sure it's aesthetic there's a aesthetic harmony and 
test, test, and test. Uh, and I used uh, two uh, sing one singlet and uh, Tamil font as benchmark fonts because otherwise uh, I would be going everywhere trying to figure out what are the strokes. What what without a benchmark I couldn't do it. And uh, I decided to develop the initial set of letters monolinear because it was easier for me and also it's a new script. It's not a new typeface but script based on two scripts. So it has to be uh, simple for even me to understand what I'm doing. Research methodology was identifying the basic, basic visual form of the each letter. So basically I went down a uh, few steps to the development to see if there are any similar uh, elements between these two letters. As you can see, it's it's you can see like 7th, 80th century, it's basically the same form with small dif differences. So if you take Uana and Singhala U, this is the basic form that I identified and next, uh, next filter, it's the final if I develop, not the final one, but the stage I'm in right now, that's. And this is basically, I mean, just a sort of a snapshot of the project. Uh, the project development, I looked at different type, different type phases there are, and I developed the sketches and I went to people uh, asking, how it, the research was, the testing was not uh, methodical or it, it, wasn't not, it was not a, a systematic uh, research with the time I had, uh, but I asked people, basically I posted on Facebook, asked my Tamil friends, went around neighborhood showing people letters, that's basically my research method. And the second one is identifying similar elements and combining significant elements. So similar elements and significant elements is two things like I'll explain to you. So this was one of the exercises I did at the very beginning just to lay out, just laid out the two letters, corresponding two letters and just to see how it works together. So this is identifying similar elements, you know the two dots are similar to the both letters so that's the similar element and I built the letter, I constructed the letter around that uh, basic uh, or the similar element and uh, this is the development of that letter, Ivana. And uh, identifying the uh, significant element is basically trying to understand the, the basic shape that we identif used to identify the letter with. So basically this is used to, this this uh, pointer or the, this pointer is, or spike is used to identify the letter right away. So uh, de uh, then is, uh, uh, I had to develop a grid uh, for the, the, the typeface. It's still in the development, but what I had to do was I had to uh, come up with different levels that I can uh, cooperate with. Uh, as you can see, uh, some corresponding letters, now this is Ra, ra and Ravana, uh, corresponding letters, letters. but one, the single letter is ascending letter and uh, the t Tamil letter is a descending letter. So how to combine this, how to manage the baseline and the height. So this is something I'm still struggling with, but I think I have a basic guideline right now to work on uh, forward. And a unification of uh, adding diacritics or the vowel modifiers or matras, I guess. So there are similarities between Tamil and Sinhalese how we, how we add the matras or the diacritics, vowel modifiers. So I try to combine these, like unify these two and may, uh, make a new system of uh, uh, vowel modifiers. So. There has to be a simplification of both languages. So Sinhalese has 10 aspirate letters and there is a one to many uh, phenom, grapheme, assigned system. So basically uh, it's like we have in Sinhalese we have two nas, uh, two las, two las, um, two las letters and Tamil also has three na letters. So in an aggressive move I had to take out some of the stuff in sake of uh, simplifying it, but I didn't do it for just uh, according to my knowledge. I followed this uh, uh, documentation by one of the Sinhala authors who had been, uh, who had, who had uh, suggested uh, several script reforms to Sinhalese. So I didn't study any uh, Tamil reform uh, uh, proposals. I followed this Sinhala reform proposal and I uh, arranged it according to that. 
So this is basically the whole idea in one image. If you want to show it to somebody, this is what I will show. So as I said to you, this, this was my final year submission. So these are the characters I have right now. There are a lot, there, lot has to be improved. There's a lot of room to be improved. This word, Amma, is in Sinhalese and Tamil, both means mother. So this is the perfect example that I could come up with to promote and to make people understand what it is. So basically this script cannot be used to write or express so many things, but it could be used to communicate names and place names. And also Sinhala has like 400 odd loan words from Tamil and also we share a lot of words that we have taken from Portuguese. So these words, each and every one could be written in this, uh, this script and could be understood by both, uh, both of the people. So my suggestion, now the traditional way of displaying a name place, name board would be Singhala Tamil and English. My suggestion is to use this in uh, the conflict areas, in the reconciliation areas, so this would basically, initially, this could make people not feeling offended by your language. This is another example I really love. Uh, this is a th uh, Triposha, it's called Triposha. It's basically uh, a nutritional pack that is delivered to all over, all over the country, free of charge by government. So the title of this was in plain Sinhalese, big letters. And I replaced it with my typeface just to show how this simple material of communication could communicate to people the message of harmony. So whenever I'm speaking to people about my project, what I tell them is the moment you start, if you want to see the differences, it's really easy, right? It's, it's, it's no matter, I can list out like thousand reasons why uh, differences between myself and an and, and Indian guy. But moment you want to see the similarities, you can just say, okay, there's nothing different between Sri, uh, Sri Lankan and uh, 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 Indian. So this is, a, this is sort of a new adaptation of, uh, I mean, I've been exploring with another type, uh, reverend typographer in Sri Lanka, how this could be used in other uh, variations, other typefaces. These are some just basic sketches of how this could be implemented. And so my next step would be to streamline the letters, implement, uh, uh, build on them, trying to uh, uh, basically improve on them. And of course, systematic testing, it is needed. This, is, this was just, just tested with my friends and my neighbors and few people I found, but it's working, it, it's, it's working, I know that. And uh, trying to get this implemented in a real situation so I could get some real feedback on if this is receptive. I have to say that, but for my presentation, final presentation, I had to uh, make a case that this would be receptive. So I set up this website where people can type their name in this script and, you know, share it. So I got like 600 hits uh, in just one day when I posted it on my Facebook and people started putting cover photos and, you know, this sort of stuff. Uh, I'm happy. In fact, I came here, I found a sponsor and I sold posters. Uh, from this project to come here to uh, probably like 60% of my expenses were paid by selling the posters and through sponsorships to here. So I'm happy.